My name is Gassia Mikaelian, and I'm a reporter at KTVU Fox 2 News in the San Francisco Bay Area. Let's talk about how Amtrak is adapting during the COVID-19 crisis and the activities it has for children online anywhere. I'm happy to welcome Olivia Irwin, spokesperson for Amtrak. Thanks for joining me, Olivia. Happy to be here. There are a lot of options for children online because I know a lot of children love trains and want to learn more about trains and travel. What's Amtrak providing? Absolutely. We've launched an Amtrak activity center, which can be found on the website. Um, and it has a lot of different elements. There's geography junction where kids can learn about different geography um, and kind of travel virtually a little bit. Um, find differences. So it shows different train stations and find different elements of it. So like an umbrella might be blue in one and yellow in the other. Um, and then there's crosswords and coloring. So there's a lot of different fun activities where kids can learn about trains and engineers and who drives trains and all the little different elements within it. What ages are these activities geared toward? K through five. Um, and there's, there's different ones with different challenges, which is what I think makes it fun. I think one of the best parts of train travel is that you get to really see the country as you're getting from point A to point B. And I, I spent a little bit of time uh, on the Amtrak website. And you know, of course, there are the, the, the geographic features that we all know about. But there were some other highlights that I was like, oh, I never, that's right. That's where that is located. Um, do you hope to surprise? some children and maybe even parents out there? So I think the fun part is actually the national parks section as well, just because yeah, you can kind of dive into exactly what you're talking about is knowing kind of those very, you know, those details that you can take along the train and kind of get that and maybe do it at home right now. What's the best part about train travel in general, would you say? Honestly, I think there's something really beautiful about just kind of having a peaceful experience while seeing America roll by. I've done it cross country and you definitely, you see so many different landscapes while sitting on the train. It's a lot different than the hustle and bustle, maybe, of other travel mechanisms. Um, when, you know, several years ago, when our first son was born, my, my husband's parents, who live in the Midwest, they actually took the train out here to come to California, and, and we had other relatives fly in, but, you know, the, the peace with which those who traveled by train arrived was just a stark difference than, you know, kind of the airport hustle and bustle, <laughs> you know, experience. So it really is a lovely way to get there if you have the time. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful to kind of be able to sit and relax and see, see the world. And we have view lounges where you can see even more. So let's talk a little bit about what's happening with Amtrak. Can you give us an update? I know trains have been running and there are some changes that, that riders will see on board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so trains have been running. Um, right now we're running reduced services. We will be reintroducing some of those services back. I think the first set is on June 1st. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of new services in terms of cleaning trains really well. Um, making hand, sure hand sanitizers available on the stations and in trains, um, requiring face masks, everything on stations and within trains. So yeah, we're doing a lot of contactless travel now as well to make things efficient and easy and safe as possible. I know that we've reported in, in just the past few days here, airlines are saying that they're actually starting to see a few more bookings than they are cancellations. Can you tell us how that's shaking out for Amtrak? Yeah, I think similarly, we've seen an increase in ridership. It's definitely not what we saw before. We're not back to normal by any stretch of the imagination, but it, we are seeing an uptick for sure. And so are there, you know, for the person who's watching this and thinking, okay, I'll have my, my little one jump on Amtrak and, and, and do these fun activities while we think about getting back to travel. Um, are there any just spectacular cross-country trips that you want to highlight? Or is there something maybe short, you know, to and from, let's say, San, yeah. San Francisco to Sacramento to just give us a taste of, of what might be in our future. I think my two favorites um, is the Coast Starlight, which might be selfish because I'm on the West Coast, but um, it runs all along the coast. So it goes up to the Pacific Northwest and down to LA. So you see everything from like all the West Coast has to offer. You see the beautiful, beautiful beaches um, through San Luis Obispo, and then you see like Redwood Forest in the Pacific Northwest. So just sort of a really amazing eclectic mix of seeing a little bit of everything. Um, and then I took actually the California Zephyr last year, I think it was like last October. Um, and you go through the Colorado mountains, which is breathtaking into Chicago. So it, it similarly, you see a lot of different views, um, but that was new to me as someone who's seen a lot of the West Coast. It's absolutely amazing to see the Colorado mountains by train where you, you know, cars don't necessarily have access. Uh, several years ago, my, my mom and my uh, two sisters and I took uh, the train and we, we did the, the, the coastal route, the Southern California coastal route. And I was astounded at how close you are to the beach mm -hmm. in some stretches when you get really down to Southern California. You, you have the best view of anybody. 
Yeah, that's the Pacific Surfliner. Yeah, it's an amazing view because you don't, you're not obstructed by highways. You can see the ocean right there. It's a, it's a beautiful route. It's a very popular one too. Yeah, well, as well it should be. You know, I, I know a lot of people are doing uh, more walking instead of driving these days, but I sort of liken train travel to, you know, instead of flying, you're taking the train. So you almost get to see what you would see if you're walking instead of driving, if, if that comparison makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. I think that comparison is perfectly accurate. And I think we get so used to in the car, all you see is roads for ends. And it's not like that on the train, which I think is something people don't often realize. Well, I, I know that, you know, we all have a lot of extra time on our hands. So certainly the Amtrak Activity Center should help fill a few of those hours. And as soon as people feel safe enough to travel by train, I know that Amtrak is, is open and ready for business. So Olivia Irwin uh, from Amtrak, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And, and you can find more information on this and many other topics anytime at coronavirusnow.com.